What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, folks? You know who it is. It was Mr. S. Warmack in the, in the building today. Okay, let me get this going down here. Here we go. What I'm doing is, like I said, as you can see, I changed the scenery. It's been changed for a while. What I did is, I uh, moved. I just moved from the, from like the attic to down to the extra room here. So, and this is a little better. We have, I have the guys over here who are at the computers and they do a little research. They do their little news searches and we try to. We, this is what we do here. Like, like a lot of people don't think I'm just. It's just one schmuck like me. No, there's thousands of schmucks like me that are behind all this. It's just that you guys don't get to see a lot. And I'm just the pretty face that you get to see. So I'm going to go into that. I want to go into how we can deal with Russia as far as the Ukrainian crisis. Now, I'm going to preface all this talking about Russia. Is I am, I am, I have to do this in every video I talk about Russia. That way there's no, there's no, how can you say, I'm not compromising my position on any videos about this topic. I am in, in a quiz group as of, this is, as of Memorial Day weekend, 2014, I am, I am in a, uh, sponsored by the network called Quiz Group in Russia. So after that, Something might change, but as of Memorial Day weekend, I'm uh, sponsored by Chris Quiz Group, and they are based in Moscow, Russia. Now, I'm making videos about Russia, so, so every once in a while they get they get a little shitty about it, but uh, hey, it's free speech over here, so let's roll it. Uh, Russia decides to have further, you know, there's, there's there's a lot of stuff, things on the table that we can do, like if Russia further goes further in the, the Ukraine, which NATO says they've seen. Like NATO has to say, like Russia said, they withdrawn the military. NATO says they haven't. I mean, I mean, it's different. I guess it's the difference of whose satellite you look at. I don't know. But uh, one of the options on the table is, like I said before, is your economics. You know, you put economic pressure on Russia. Like I said before, the oligarchs who like support Putin, you, you start you start hitting them in the wallet, and then they start hitting Putin. Hey, you know, they go to him. You know, you need our support. You need to do X, Y, Z. You know, once the oligarchs feel that pinch, I think Putin will feel that pinch. I think a lot of people have said that before. Like a lot of economic experts and world experts have said that before. Like the oligarchs are going to explain to you people. I'm not saying you're stupid, but some of you might not know what the oligarchs are. The oligarchs are a group of, you know, like they're, 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 they're fat cats. They're, these, they're the people who own all the, 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 the Companies, they're the they're the big shots. They're the ones who the politicians listen to, really listen to. And like they're the Putin's strong supporters. And if they feel that difficult to trade elsewhere, as far as foreign wise, you know, Putin will have a difficult time too. But let me get this straight: there's a America is not just you know Russia's trading partners. It's a big world out there. He has to take a coalition effort. So, if this, there's like a coalition effort as far as Putin wise, I think Putin will feel pressure. You know, you, you also have US and Europe, you know, prohibit companies from going business. That. That's how you can do it. Like, like Obama has already done it. Well, Obama has already sanctioned businesses not to do business over in Russia. Well, I, I don't think he has done that. I think he uh, whacked the uh, businesses that are doing, that are in control in Russia, I think he froze those companies. Like the oil companies, all the big wigs who have some type of close to Putin, I think he froze them. As of, as of right now, that's who he's frozen. He hasn't touched a lot of other people. Uh, my, my company hasn't been touched, so I mean, apparently they're not done by oligarchies. I don't know, well, they probably are, it's just that they're not in the business of whatever they're in the business of. You know, but at the same time, that knife cuts both ways. You know, they could, they could, uh, they could ship, you know, Russia could ship more trading status to maybe China and more, like they're going to Africa, like in Africa, I mentioned in another video, they got Gazprom, which is the Russian-owned gas company, has a deal with Nigeria. And so, you know, this America's not the only one. It's just that they can go elsewhere. It's just that if we put the pressure along with Europe, I think they'll feel the pinch. Like I said, they can only, like, they got that gas deal with Nigeria, just made a deal with China. 
to North Korea, Iran. They just, I mean, there's a lot of stuff we can do, but then realistically, if Russia, if Russia's slick as they are, they can go elsewhere. You know, like I said, like as far as the European countries, and that's the problem, Russia supplies over 40% of natural gas to Europe. And it's harder for, and like I said, with the Africa thing, this and that, I mean, I think if you hit the oligarchs, you gotta go to specific companies, specific key players. And once you hit those players, the, the dominoes will fall. You know? I guess the nuclear option just doesn't include, you know, missiles anymore, does it? I'm out. Peace.